What's going on guys? I'm Matt Stryker and welcome back to Ree's Retro Toys. On the last episode, you saw part one of my vintage toy collection back at my old house and my old toy room. Today's episode is going to be the follow-up, part two, the conclusion to my overall vintage toy collection. Now this one will feature the rest of my toy room as well as the stuff that kind of was the overflow that I got away with <laughs> outside of the toy room, which was primarily Star Wars. Without further ado, let's get to it. Matt's Vintage Toy Collection, part two. I hope you guys dig it. Here we have the Turtle Pez on the card. I have various ones because they're different colors, different stem colors, and different faces. You have the grimacing face, and then you have the smiling face. You see that there? And then we've got the Turtle Copter here with the Coil Force Donatello. And is that Super Mutant? I think Super Mutant Raphael in there. This is kind of a cool piece. You don't see that very frequently. It's the Movie 3 soundtrack cassette on a card. I like that a lot. And there are some 2003 turtles there on the card, including April and Usagi Yojimbo. Here is my Toy Biz Batwing that I have the box for as well. And there's the 2012 series Muckman that everybody was searching for. I actually found him on the shelf back in the day at a Walmart. He was the only one there and I found him. That's back when he was selling for like $400. There's the 2003 Pez's Ninja Turtles. We've got a couple ninja shooters here. Donatello and Michelangelo. Kind of like the chrome figure and they shoot the marbles out of their bellies. Barnyard Commandos here on the card, as well as the keychains. Sunglasses. I got my signed Rat King from Kevin Eastman. There's the Ertl Batmobile, the Hot Wheels Party Wagon, Star Trek Turtles, and then the Sewer Heroes, Michelangelo, and Donatello on the card. And then I got two carded adventurer turtles, which are pretty rare. Safari Michelangelo and Arctic Donatello. They come with those cool coins there. And then I've got a Masters of the Universe storybook that my wife got me, which is pretty cool. And then a Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker kite, as well as a He-Man kite. There's a Sektar glove dude with the pinchers. Got a old school gumball machine in here. I think it fits in well. I've got Ninja Turtle sword, random lunch boxes. There's also another Sektar there. There's a Rambo lunch box. Again, you gotta love that the 80s produced a Rambo toy line and lunch box based on one of the most violent movies around. And then we have, I mean, I'm sorry, but these Inhumanoids are incredible. I love the Inhumanoids. The giant Inhumanoid monsters. It's so cool. Tendril. Metlar. And of course you have the human characters as well. I've got my Technodrome here. Which I think is for the most part complete. Including the prison chains. And then everyone's favorite, Decompose. There's a little lock of hair still there. <laughs> and the Tree Men. We've got the Dukes of Hazard General Lee and Boss Hog's Cadillac. Random Tang, Black Star Demon. More trees. There's some Dukes of Hazard figures. Sheriff Roscoe, Bo, Luke, and Daisy. 
and more giant GoBots. This guy turns into the gun. And then we got the binoculars there. And then I've got the transforming quartz watch with the box, which is neat. And then down here are just a bunch of my VHS. Um, I've got some wrestling. I have a lot of old school music VHS. You can see there. Soundgarden, Skid Row, Poison, all sorts of 80s ones. And then I have some other VHS down here. Then books. I've got more toy and pop culture related books. I got my wrestling almanacs from the 90s. <laughs> books. Um, Raphael Cookie Jar. Here is my pillow person. This is literally the one I had from childhood that I laid in front of our floor model TV in our old house when I was a young boy and would fall asleep on it. And then I would have to be carried upstairs or woken up and um, walk upstairs. Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur, one of those games that I had as a boy. I played that a lot with my sister. Some of my cartoon VHS here. And games and puzzles. Card backs, books different things. Puzzles, Ninja Turtle puzzles. There's Ghostbusters up there. Star Wars puzzles, E-Man. Yeah, this is just kind of like my um, 80s recreational area. <laughs> Rainy day, bust out a board game, a VHS, and let's do a puzzle. And we were all happy. Since I'm down on the floor here, I'll do this real quick. There's that, um, that kind of bag suitcase thing that I found uh, in my, one of my last um, weekend find videos. I still don't know the alien dude there. And then we got Monty Moose from the Get Along Gang with his roller skates. There's Alf. There are the wrestling buddies from WCW, Ric Flair and Lex Luger. And here is a vintage Legion of Doom painter's cap. It's got Legion of Doom there on top. What a rush on the side. My buddy Chad gave me that. I guess he found it, his brother found it in his garage or something. And then I've got the Ninja Turtles painter cap that I got from d &E. That's there. There's a complete My Pet Monster I got from my buddy Matt Cloud, who is an independent horror film director. I recently checked out his movie in December when it premiered at the Alamo Draft House on Independent Cinema Night. So that was neat. And then um, we got another Al figure and a Donatello, not figure, but plush Donatello. And then I've got four official wrestling buddies, Big Boss Man, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, and Ted DiBiase. So. There's those, and here we go, guys. This is my wall of carded Ninja Turtles. My famous wall of carded Ninja Turtles. I don't know if it's famous or not, but <laughs> this is where this is where I sit when I do my videos. Just put my chair there, and and there I sit with the wall of Ninja Turtles behind me guys were curious how my setup was. I'm not going to go over all of the Wall of Ninja Turtles, but I got a lot of them. Head popping, talking, wacky action, all the originals up there. I do have a, a few of the fan club forms. Leo, Raph, and Donatello. I don't have Michelangelo fan club. Um, Rocksteady, Splinter, Shredder, Drag, Casey Jones. Of course, my favorite is Muckman and Joe Eyeball. Had him as a boy, loved him. Different ones here. Got Superhero Bebop. And of course, Mona Lisa and Half Court. Scale Tail. Dr. L. Rock and Roll Mondo Gecko. I've got Movie 3. And there's. Uh, Secret of the Ooze movie star Splinter and Foot Soldier. There's Toon Burn. He's kind of a hard one to find. 
My favorite card backs are the sewer spitting turtles because I love the different card art on here because there's they did it in green, pink, red, and yellow. Just vibrant and bright early 90s colors there. It's a turtle beach party in the sand. We're gonna surf the zoo, we're gonna get a green tan. But just when they thought it was safe to play, the big bad foot come walking their way. Why, George Leo, Spike and Bolly Don, sewer cycle and rap, beach cone and Mike, sewer spitting turtles. You got them on the run, spitting so much fun, sewer spitting ninja turtles from Playmates. There are the knockoff turtles. Turtles fighters. <laughs> Not turtle fighters. Turtles fighters. Plural. Uh, let's see what else. Mutant military. There's the rock and roll turtles. All four of them. More mutant military. The sewer sports all stars lines. Goes all the way up there. Undercover Dawn, Fugitoid, Usagi, Slash. Everybody loves Slash. It's not the yellow bellied one, but original Pizza Face, Brown Chuck, Genghis Frog, Krang. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of them, guys. Lots of Carded Ninja Turtles. There's the Pogo Copter and the Knucklehead, as well as Needle Nose and Killer Bee over here, hanging from the ceiling. Um, here's some more too. There is the whole line, uh, first wave of Universal Monster Turtles, as well as the second wave of Universal Monster Turtles, which is much, much rarer than the first wave, especially um, Raphael as the mutant there, and then Invisible Man Michelangelo. Those guys are really rare. Got Robotic Rocksteady. This is a rare one too. Robo um, Warrior Metalhead. Michelangelo. These are pretty rare too. The Apollo 11 Ninja Turtles. I'll just finish out the carded stuff here. Monty Moose. And of course we've got Toka and Razar. There's a 10-back Bebop. That came. Shogun Dawn. Shogun, Sh uh, Shogun Shredder. All, all the Olympic Turtles, Turtle Games. All four of those. There's the Happy Birthday Raphael. There's the whole wave of Coil Force as well. There's a flying disc on the card. Uh, Cyber Samurai Raph. That's kind of when they started doing that Power Rangers. Uh, type, I guess that was their, it was a way of trying to stay relevant, I guess. And um, Cyber Samurai Mike, and there is Troll Leo as well. There's my MacGyver Walkie Talkies, Rambo Weapons Pack, Batman Bank that came on the cereal, Noid, Asteroids Game. These are a couple of childhood toys that I loved and played with. Uh, Cosmic Viper Construct Constructs set from the Alien series of Constructs. There's the Alien. Of course, there is my copy of Rad Plastic by Chris Fawcett. Definitely check that out if you're a Ninja Turtle collector. And there is my original Foot Cruiser. That is why it is so beat up and the chrome is pretty much gone. That is my original one from childhood. And then over here, we've got Dino Raph, or not Dino Raph, but Cave Raph, Farmer Mike, some Black Star Demons, of course, the, the Party Wagon, and all sorts of different Ninja Turtle vehicles up here. There's Farmer Dawn, there's Farmer Mike on his tractor. Sewer Sub, got the Mutant Module back there, and the Technodrome Scout vehicle. There's one of the War Horses. All sorts of different stuff. I got one of the tanks back there, one of the military trucks. And 
let's see. We're going to go, I guess, into this line here um, right after this commercial break. We'll return after these messages. It's new for your kids. Laser lights, laser lights, it's Black Star. Defender of right, he's ready to fight the evil overlord. Laser lights. The ice castle is a mysterious place. He might meet the lava lock face to face. Laser lights. And here we have my Hasbro collection. You can see the smoking guns. So that's the green series there with the mail away Hulk Hogan holding the original Hasbro championship belt. And of course, there is the one, two, three kid. I will go ahead and open this. So we can get in there a little bit closer if we want to. Adam Baum, Evil Crush, Ludwig Borga, and Yokozuna number two with the white belt. And it continues down here. I have all of the Hasbros. Um, I don't have the Mail Away Undertaker or the Mail Away Brett. But for the most part, I have all of the Hasbros. There's Dusty and Andre, Red Card Undertaker, which was my last one I really needed. I did a video on. There is the Scott Steiner prototype, the Jim Duggan number two prototype, Ric Flair prototype, Repo Man prototype, and Berserker prototype, which are pretty cool. There is the next level of Hasbros. Shawn Michaels, Nails, Warrior, Papa Shango. There's Macho King with all of his accessories, his scepter and his crown. Doink, Duggan. Natural Disasters, Razor. There's the third one. I do have some of the Retro Collection loose that I put out front. I guess that Roman Reigns is worth some coin at this point. And it goes back there as well. Got Demolition. I do need Demolition Masks for Smash and Crush. I don't have those. Macho Man number four. Skinner, Berserker. There's this... Second Bushwhackers with the hats, Legion of Doom, Steiner Brothers, Warlord, good stuff. And then down here are my Thundercats. I had to throw him up there because I just kind of ran out of room. It's not a core collection, but they're fun. Definitely a, a pivotal moment in 80s children's pop culture were the Thundercats. And they're my buddy Andy's favorite. I know that. There's that cabinet. And then we'll go into this one here. And this one has my Black Star in there and my Silver Hawks. G.I. Joe. I just have a select few G.I. Joes. My Food Fighters. Another cool line. And da 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 da. That is an original Wonder Bread He-Man, guys. And in really, really good condition. Crazy, crazy high found him on Craigslist. And then down here, we've got Ghostbusters, Sludge Bucket, and the original four, Granny Gross, Stay Puffed, some uh, Fright Features back there, Winston, um, another really good and clean white Ecto-1, and of course the Green Ghost, otherwise known as Slimer. Here's some Transformers. Again, not a core collection, but I did love them as a child. I just didn't have many of them. I think I had more GoBots. Um, I do have Starscream complete and Soundwave complete. Soundwave is my favorite. I think he's a lot of people's favorites. Got Optimus Prime there in his trailer. The Dinobots course. Love the Dinobots. Transformers. And this is kind of an oddball shelf. Um, I've got some Pretenders in there. G1 Pretenders. I've got ALF. Those are my original socket poppers I'd mentioned before. Battle Beasts, Transformers. There's a couple Jokers, Crash Test Dummies, Mr. T. 
I got Strike back there, the Bendy Gremlin. Just different things. There's that knockoff Robocop. There's a good one. There's uh, my lone tiger shark that I have. So uh, I found him in a shelf filled with Thundercats because he's marked LJN Toys. Um, Telepix. So they thought, thought he was a Thundercat. So I got him for like five bucks. Yeah, that doesn't happen too often. All right, and so we're gonna head on over here to the core of my Ninja Turtles collection. You can see all of the boxed items. Some of those are just boxes. Some of them do have the vehicle in them. And then I've got my cave turtles, which are kind of hard to come by these days, complete. There's my Ninja Turtle blow mold from Mexico. And I got the various vehicles here. And each one of them has a pilot or a driver. You guys know that this is definitely a core collection for me. So I got tons of Ninja Turtles. And so if we go back over here, here is, this is my childhood Ninja Turtles right here. So these are actually my original Ninja Turtles that I had as a kid. And um, they're beat up, they're played with, they're missing accessories, they've got paint wear, but they were mine and they survived. So I'm super excited to, to still have those in my collection. And moving down here, I got a couple of the giants, Raphael and Leonardo. Those are not Raphael's size, I know that. Those go to the 2012 Raphael. <laughs> But that's fine. He just has them and he's kind of beat up, but whatever. Different figures in here. A lot of the like third and fourth waves are in here. Chrome Dome, Rock and Roll Mondo Gecko, Mutagen Man. There's Zack the Neutrino and Usagi. There are the Ninja Shooters, all four of them there. Here's the next shelf. Got uh, movie star Dawn, Giant, and Krang with the correct pink brain inside. There's my Arctic Dawn that I just picked up at Toys for the Ages for 10 bucks. Space Usagi, Mouser, some Mutant Military. Different ones in there. And there is Giant Movie Star Raph. And let's see, I got some pizza throwing ones. I got the Jim Lee down there. Wacky Action Bebop, Crazy Clown and Mike, the Birthday Turtles. There's Sumo Mike. Um, he does have one, uh, one shoe, no ponytail. More pizza tossing ones. I guess I'll just kind of go up over here. There is Giant Movie Star Mike. Some more Jim Lee Turtles. The Ninja Action, or the, the Night Ninja turtles back there. Wacky Wild West turtles. There's my undercover Leonardo missing his right arm and his coat. <laughs> and there's the black shell Michelangelo without the back shell or um, black belt. I'm sorry, black belt storage shell, but he does not have his back shell part. A couple of the Apollo 11 turtles. More mutant military. Some uh, Cyber Samurai Turtles, Mutating Splinter, Toka, Foot Soldier, and Shredder. There's my Big Bebop and my Giant Mutating Donatello. Up here we have the Universal Monsters, Mike, Dawn, and Leo. I don't have the Mummy Wrath loose. Robotic Bebop and Rocksteady. Soft Head Shredder there. More Cyber Samurais. The Kung Fu Tournament Fighter Turtles there. There is um, this, the uh, Mutating Mike, the Giant Mutating Mike, and the Giant Rocksteady. And then we have some of the rarer ones here. There is Warrior Chrome Dome. He only has one wing, unfortunately. There is the Chef Boyer D Mail Away Super Shredder, all black. 
And there's Krang. There's the European release of Shredder. Hotspot, of course. He only has his axe, but I do have his file card back there that Chad gave me. And the green April that came with the news van. And some other rarer ones here. Warriors of the Forgotten Sewer. You got uh, Sandstorm, Half Court, Mona Lisa, Robotic Foot Soldier, Antrax, Dr. L, Monty Moose, Scale Tail, Hot Head. Good stuff. And continuing the rare line, uh, you got the Dino Turtles there in the back. I don't have Dawn's Wings or I don't have Shredder's Tail, but I do have all five of them, which is neat. I love the Warrior Wing Donatello and Leonardo. There's Leo. I do have their wings and they look incredible. Um, of course, uh, the super, the sewer heroes, uh, ro uh, Rocksteady and Bebop. There's Don, Mike. There's the uh, movie stars. And then the movie stars here up in the front too as well. I love the movie star turtles. And there's Giant Movie Star Leo and Samurai Movie 3 Leo. You got the Super Mutants there in the back, including Rocksteady and Splinter back there, and then all four turtles. I do have um, some of the Shoguns there. Well, there's the Gold Shogun Raphael. There's Toon Shredder. And here's my Toon Collection. Irma and Kala, burn, burn. There's those. And a giant Mike and Donatello. Donatello has his bow staff there. We got some troll turtles. Uh, the metal mutants that are really cool. I still don't have Raphael, but there's Leo, Dawn, Shredder, and then Mike there up in the front. There's the uh, motorcycle ride in Leo. And some movie three figures. Down there, I do have a couple coil force there in the back. And there's a mutate, um, yeah, mutating Leo, the giant one. Coil force. There's Sumo Raphael. And some other. This, yeah, they're, they're the, the Olympic turtles are down there. The Muta Force turtles are down there. All sorts of different ones. And then I have some of the 2003 through, what was it, six, seven series? Something like that. There's the Dark Turtles that are really cool. Love the Dark Turtles. I think a lot of us like those figures. And I guess they're getting increasingly more expensive. Here's Next Mutation. I just picked up a lot of those from D&E, actually. Uh, there's the giant uh, Raphael and Donatello. You know, this, is, this has kind of a glare because the lights aren't on. There, that's better. That's much better. Sorry about that. Some of the 2007 movies are down here too. I don't pay too close attention to the which ones I have <laughs> because it's just that they're not, you know, I, I collect mainly the vintage line. Here's some more 2003, as well as the Mega Blocks blind bag figures. My daughter and I enjoyed collecting those back in the day when those were out. There's Night Ninjas, there's the giant Mikey, giant leo from the 2003 series and then i love this shelf the mini mutants um anybody who's a ninja ninja turtle collector knows how hard it is to find these things um almost impossible and i've got quite a few of the play sets and the figures i found this in a lot from Phil over at Kryptonite Toys. I bought that from, from him back in the day, several years ago now. 
and I was really happy that I did <laughs> and found it. There's the giant one with the mic controlling the robot body. Trying to get in there without knocking anything over. But you get the drift. Little mini mutant cityscape here. There's huge news in the sewer. The Mini Mutants. It's Toko with a sneaky surprise. A mini technodrome with Mini Mutants all its own. In the Turtle Tenderizer Chamber, Mini Shredder has painful plans for rap. Up top, a Mini Bebop's keeping an eye out. There's looking at ya. But Leo's got it totally covered. It's Leo's Turtle Playset with some big mini surprises of its own. Like a cool sewer sculpt and Mini Leo and Mike. Whoa, there's even a place for you, Shredder. Teenage Mutant Mini Mutants. The sewer just got smaller. And there's the Raphael Frisbee. And we continue with the Ninja Turtles. I got my Blimp 1 here. And the sewer play set here. It's 100% complete. Various figures on top. There's another cookie container. There's some Conan. Slammers. I got some Robin Hood back there. Skeleton Warriors. Under here are the watches, the Ninja Turtle watches. Five of them there, including Shredder. Here are the Hostess Turtle Pies stickers. They came packaged in the Hostess Turtle Pies. That's pretty cool. And Batman, Micros. More Ninja Turtle stuff, birthday party, cards. Oh, here's my carded metalhead. He's, he's, he actually has a case, so he's sitting there. There's a Christmas stocking and bath towel. There's the Queen Alien on the card. I've got my AJ Styles buddy, as well as my Rock buddy down there. Inflatable Michelangelo, probably came from like a carnival gig. Here are some coming out of their shelves, tours behind glass. I just don't have room for them on the wall, unfortunately. There's that one. And the actual tour guide coming out of their shells. And this is another advertisement for coming out of their shells. Kind of a smaller one. Advertising the cassette. And then I put this in a, in a shadow box, which is the cassette itself with the Pizza Hut holographic pin back. So the Pizza Hut employees would be wearing that on their shirt or their vest. I found that on eBay a few years ago, so that, that's pretty and cool. And over here is my Ninja Turtle randomness. All sorts of different Ninja Turtle items in here, including the foam soap and the eggs, cookies, juice boxes, a, a bath set, cookie cutters bubble bath, toothbrush. There's the Turtle Power cassette single, some pin backs, ooze candy. There's another one of those turtle pins I was telling you about from Pizza Hut. You got the candy dispensers, school box, handheld video games, cards. There's a 100% complete fan club kit that was mailed out in 1988. For those of you lucky enough to fill that out and get those first wave of action figures. That's an awesome piece to have. Plush Donnie there, a fishing kit, a bike horn, comb, bubble bath toppers. There's the communicator. There's the retro mutagen ooze container with the glow in the dark turtle. Got Pez dispensers back there. I got a random gift garbage pail kids. Um, night lights, cups. Those are the all that's a set of four of the bowls that came packaged with the cereal back in the day. Plates, cups, a box of of the movie trading cards there, some pieces to the bowling set. So yeah, man. I like me some Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I think you guys know that by now. And we're coming here to a close. We've made the whole circle, or square, however you want to say it, around my room. 
And this corner ends with my carded WWF Hasbros. Let's see them there. Got the Bushwhackers, Legion of Doom, my Lex Luger Sparkle Gun, Sid, Virgil, Hogan, Warlord, Skinner, Malty, Macho, Anvil, Purple Razor. Purple Razor's a hard to find figure. I got Samu. There's the green card Yoko. Scott Steiner, Kamala. Rest in peace, Owen Hart. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. There's Crush. Narcissist Lex Luger, Bam Bam. There's red card Yoko. Got some Galoobs here. Rick Steiner and Flying Brian Pillman. Ultimate Warrior sliding puzzle and flashlight. These are cool too. Thumb Wrestler 2 packs, original Thumb Wrestlers back from like 1985. Still on the card. Don't see them every day. Some aliens carded and some more carded wrestlers. And there's some WWF stickers there. And now we're back to the sleeping bag. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what's outside of the room. After these messages, We'll be right back. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles rock and roll. And only Pizza Hut has their great new cassette with 10 bodacious Ninja Turtle tunes. Get a cassette for your kids for just $3.99. Hey, act fast and get a most excellent autograph poster. An official tour book absolutely free. But hurry, because this is one rock and roll deal that's too awesome to miss. Okay, so there is the door to my toy room. And then over here is my Toys R Us end cap filled with carded Return of the Jedi figures, Power of the Force figures, and episode one. And it's filled with all of this stuff. The figure three packs, there's the Rancor, the Bantha is behind him there, the monsters different vehicles. Oh wait, no, there's the Bantha. And there's the A-Wing. Some of the concept vehicles. The speeders. So there's that. I also have some a side rack here with some carded figures. I just picked him up, him up not too long ago, Will Row Hood. You know? And he ran with the ice maker or the ice cream maker <laughs> in uh, Empire Strikes Back. And over here, we've got the Clone Wars Republic gunship and an awesome HasLab Razor Crest. More Star Wars boxed items. Now the Hot Ewok Village, Darth Vader tie. And we've got the TIE Fighter and the Snow Speeder back there. Original Star Wars Millennium Falcon box, Slave One, Darth Vader Star Destroyer, Land Speeder, Cloud Car, Mini Rig, Creature Cantina. And then we have some of the giant figures. Of course, Watto is new, newer. Um, but here, these are the vintage ones here with the Darth Vader case behind him. We have items in here. Open that. Oops. Somebody fell. We've got the cantina in there with different figures. Max Rebo Band and the Bantha. The Force Unleashed Luke, which I think is a really cool looking figure. A couple do backs. And the exclusive Episode 1 Obi-Wan and Darth Maul that came from Star Wars Celebration are back there. The Black Series. Is Dago Boss set with the new foam. Yes, I did buy some new foam to make it look better on eBay. There's the Yoda hand puppet. And there's like the uh, the brown haired Bespin Luke down there with an R2. Sit in there for now. And more Star Wars, guys. Tons of Star Wars. I'm just kind of gloss over this because I think I covered this for the most part in my Star Wars collection. 
video, please feel free to go back and watch that if you want to. But all sorts of Star Wars stuff. There's the, um, the Play School Ewok play set. Got my job in a hut and Rancor back there. There's the um, Next 17 E Font Mon figure that I got for Christmas. There's my carta of Jedi Luke under acrylic. The turret playset from Hoth. And some glassware. It's actually like a musical music musical um, Max Rebo band. You can wind it up, plays music. This is cool too. I love having the biker scout laser pistol. There's the mini rig skiff, and there's a boxed size noodles and the rebuild band back there. Have to excuse my my video here because I'm in the middle of my daughter's Barbie collection. But there's the B-wing fighter and the ATTE from the Clone Wars. Such a awesome, video. Um, awesome, awesome vehicle there. Batwing, Batman color forms, as well as various other color forms back there. There's my Computer Warriors playset. Cowabunga, Cowabunga Kraken Turtle Egg four piece. The Savage Strike Headquarters Rambo. I've got my Dueling Dudes down there, Ninja Turtles. Some more Ninja Turtle stuff. My Box Giant Dontello that my wife got me. GoBots Thruster. Bug Bite and Warpath there, Super GoBots. And then I got some of my NECA Turtles out as well from the first movie, because it's my absolute favorite. I would love to actually be able to open those and display them because they're so, so awesome. So on this wall, I put up the original Secret of the Ooze VHS store display. Um, there was two different versions of this. One had it decorated for Christmas, and then this one had the school bus. Um, you have Donatello and Raphael there, and then Michelangelo on the side, and then Leo on the side with the secret of the ooze there on the bottom. Um, I, I modified it to put it on the wall because you would actually have like a long box there that went between the school bus and that sign that would contain the VHS. I just thought it would, um, you know, I pieced it together the best that I could without the VHS box and uh, put it on my wall. There's my Defender sign that my dad made for me. That's an original Defender arcade marquee. And then these two pieces are from the original 1990 Ninja Turtle VHS display. So the box was in the middle. Um, Michelangelo actually was on top of the box. And then Leonardo, Raphael, and um, Donatello were around the rest of the box. But I have them sticking out from my TV, <laughs> which I think is actually pretty neat looking. So um, somehow I am able to get away with that. But I thought you guys would like to see that. And then on this wall is my Clone Wars collection which actually has grown. I got some carded ones there up on the top, as well as many other loose, complete Clone Wars here in the back cases. If you have not watched Clone Wars yet, I urge you and plead with you to do so, because it is an incredible, incredible cartoon. All carded ones up here. Has some glare here from the, from the back cases, so I apologize, but figured I'm, I'm not spending a whole lot of time on this. I just kind of wanted to show you what's over here. I do have some Rebels figures as well, as well as the Resistance figures. I like the Resistance figures because they remind me of the Droids line, because the Droids line is very colorful, colorful, um, especially when you compare them to the original Star Wars uh, figures. 
And then some random Ninja Turtle pieces here. There's an original poster for the first movie that you probably would have got at a at a fair, like because it has the gold trim, gold frame around it. Um, and then these are original display pieces in the 25 set machines that distributed the stickers. Those foil metallic stickers. I found them on eBay and I thought, yes, because I, I vividly remember getting these stickers out of those quarter machines when I was a kid. And in fact, I still have some in my childhood sticker book. So when I saw those, that was a huge blast from the past. We'll return after these messages. It's Darth Vader, watch out! And he's got a lightsaber! It's Kenner's Star Wars action figures, each sold separately. I got you now, Ben Kenobi. With R2-D2 and C-3PO, there's even Chewbacca and Han Solo. Someone's coming, Chewie. Who's there? It's Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. Now I know the Force is with us. Darth Vader, R2-D2, C-3PO, and other Kenner Star Wars action figures, each sold separately. And here is my little Star Wars corner. I don't know if you want to call it little or not, but um, here is a rack filled with original vintage Star Wars vehicles. We got the AT-AT, the Sand Crawler, the original X-Wing. There is um, a US Space Force patch and coin from when I visited uh, the Space Force Command out in Colorado Springs. I had to bring those back and put it with my uh, Star Wars stuff. I think it looks pretty cool. There's the original TIE Fighter. And the Snow Speeder, Land Speeder. And the Battle Damage TIE Fighter. There's the ATST Chicken Walker and the Speeder Bike. My favorite ship, the B Wing. There's the Twin Cloud Car Pilot. Or, um, I'm sorry, Twin Pod Cloud Car. Kind of scramble my words there, my, my apologies. And then the Y Wing. I also love the Y Wing. There's the Return of the Jedi. Trash King in there. Bad guys on one side, good guys on the other. I like the bad guys, so that's why that's facing out. <laughs> and then we go to my bat cases here. That has a lot of the figures. It has all of the original 1978 to 85 Star Wars figures, and then quite a few of the Ewoks and droids. Um, there's my Ewok collection with the coins. I need Wicked Spear and Coin. Um, there's my Pro Customs Vlix. No, that is not an original Vlix, but made by Pro Customs. And then my other droids figures here. I got George Assault there on a cut card that I still have not opened because I just can't force myself to. Um, and these are actually the Stan Solo droids C3PO and R2. Um, I got those for like 70 bucks as opposed to spending, oh, I don't know, 1500 on them, maybe more. And then you got some Power of the Force figures. These are all original, all original coins and accessories. Even, Yak Face, and Pop of R2 are here. There's a Pro Customs uh, prototype. Boba Fett. There's the third leg R2 that came packaged with the Droid Factory. There's my Iconicon exclusive metallic Boba Fett, which is awesome, as well as the Stan Solo, Ula, and Slave Leia figures. If those don't look like vintage Kenner figures, I don't know what does, but these, those are all awesome. I highly encourage Star Wars collectors to check out Stan Solo. Great stuff. And then there's more Power of the Force up here in the coins. I've been collecting Star Wars a long time, guys. I have I did not buy these at current market value, I assure you. <laughs> There's a blue snag. Again, another rare one. And then it goes into the Return of Jedi, Jedi Ewoks and Rebels. I guess I'll start at the top here. Because I have them arranged by movie. Um, 
you know, you have the, the first 12 here. All the way to the Jawa, and then you get into the Cantina guys. Greedo. I've got, oh, so this is Small Head Hawn. And then Large Head Hawn. The Gomp Droid. You get into the Bounty Hunters there. Bosk, I love Bosk. I know everybody loves Boba, but I like Bosk. And this one here. Dengar and Zuckus. And it gets into Hoth. Here's the uh, yellow-haired Bespin Luke with the brown snake Yoda. The, uh, the more common one is the orange snake. You got your Cloud City guys here. And then it starts getting into Return of the Jedi with Admiral Akbar. Prune face, you got Bib, Lando Skiff. There I am, Reese. Get more in guard. Jedi Luke. I think Jedi Luke is probably one of the best figures in the vintage line. Boosh Leia, Squid Head. The Skiff guards, there's a Rancor Keeper. The poor Peg Warmer, Rancor Keeper. Emperor's Royal Guard, Emperor. Uh, I love the Biker Scout too. He was always one of my favorite figures to play with when I was a kid, it was the Biker Scout. And then, just for fun, I actually added another one here that includes the Retro Collection. Um, I think they fit in nicely, albeit I think they are a little smaller than the original vintage figures. But um, the fact that they're doing them is pretty cool. So there's the Boba Fett ones or I'm, I'm sorry, the Mandalorian ones, and then it goes into the Book of Boba Fett with Ahsoka and the Shadow Trooper, and there's the new Boba. Oh, and I also have the Grand Moff Tarkin that was packaged with the Death Star board game that they released a few years ago. So all in all, dude, these are, uh, that's my Star Wars collection. I love it. I absolutely love Star Wars. Ninja Turtles and wrestling. So, and for some perspective here, that's the other area where we were previously. All right. So that's it, guys. That was my vintage toy collection. I hope you guys really enjoyed the tour. I know I enjoyed filming everything for, for everybody. Again, you know, collections to me, they aren't a competition. It's just whatever you can pick up. I know, you know, yeah, I buy some things at toy shows and collectible stores and things like that, but a lot of the stuff I was able to pick up at flea markets and yard sales. And you also have to remember too, it's also about the timing of when you buy these items. Right now, if you go to buy a lot of these things, they're through the roof. Things have skyrocketed. You know, I started collecting probably 10 to 12 years ago now, I would say. Prices were a lot lower back then. A lot of those carded turtles that you saw on my wall there, I mean, I paid 15 to $20 a piece for them back then, which, you know, it's pretty dirt cheap when you compare them to today's prices. And then of course my Hasbro collection and wrestling collection I, I collected as, as a teenager and um, middle schooler back in the early 90s. So anyway, I hope you dug the video. Go ahead and hit that like button if you did and subscribe to my channel at Rees Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching guys, keep on hunting.